Hi, thank you for choosing our product group clone. On this session, I'll be showing you how to enable Facebook login, how to change the links for follows on icons, and also how to get this Facebook pay, uh, fan page. Finally, how to add the Google Analytics code to your website. So to begin with, let me start with uh, Facebook login. So on the admin panel, let's click on system, configuration, Scroll down, look for uh, customer configuration. Here it is. Okay, so here it is asking for applica application API key and application uh, secret key. These tools are very important in order to enable Facebook login on your website. Only when you provide these keys here, uh, any users on your website will be able to log in with Facebook login. Okay, so in order to get this, you have to uh, log on to facebook.com slash developers and you have to create a new application by providing your uh, app name and the uh, website address. So once you do that, you'll be able to generate the application API key and the secret key from Facebook. Once you've done that, just come here, I mean, get the API keys and secret, secret key from Facebook and put it here. Just click on save config button at the top that you see here. That's it. Once you've done this, you'll be able to uh, allow the users of your website to log in with Facebook login. Next, we'll see how to change the links for uh, follows on icons. Just go to share, click on manage items. Click on edit. Okay, here it is. Here you, you can provide the, your uh, Facebook profile link. You can provide the Twitter link and the LinkedIn link here. And just below that, it's also asking for Facebook fans ID. This is, all, this is about I talked to you in earlier. And if you have Facebook pages created, you just need to get the uh, Facebook page ID and put it here so that on your website, you, you'll be able to show the uh, Facebook fan pages here like this with the people photos and the people name. Now I'll be, let, let's uh, see how to add a Google Analytics code to your website. Again, let's go to system, go to configuration. Just come down and look for uh, Google API. Just click that. Now here it is. It says Google Analytics. Here you have to enable it. Just change it to yes and provide the account number for your Google Analytics code. So by providing this, after once you save this configuration, um, the Google Analytics code will be added to your uh, uh, website in all the photo pages. So once you've done that, you'll be able to track all the visitors to your website seamlessly. Okay. All right. Good work. Thank you.